Mr. Smith here, Maplewood Middle School, and I'm here to teach you Amazing Grace by John Edmondson. Uh, we're specifically looking at the first trombone part, so use this reference uh, to learn your parts. Make sure that you use this not only to simply learn it by playing it, but most importantly by singing it. You know, like I know, that uh, when you become familiar with the tune, it's easier to play it. So how better to become familiar with it than to sing it? I don't expect you to stand in front of people and sing, but what you can do is you can get your headphones on and just kind of listen to it. You can listen to this through your iPod, uh, maybe at your computer, and just sing it and sing it until it becomes very familiar to you. Once you get it in here, then it'll be easy to put it out there through your instrument. Uh, don't get in a rush to play. After you sing it, make sure that you say the letter names and uh, say your positions and go through those motions while you're singing. Also, make sure that you're buzzing because the best way to sound good is to buzz. If you can buzz this song on your mouthpiece, do you have any idea how easy it would be to play it on your trombone? Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be incredibly easy for you to play it. But if you skip these steps and just start playing it, then it be actually becomes harder. So don't skip the steps. Go ahead and sing. Go ahead and move those slide positions. And most importantly, go ahead and buzz before you start playing. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Amazing Grace. rest quite a few measures, um, eight measures to be exact, and then it measured 33. It rests for six more measures. Then we have a poco ritardando, which means to slow down just a little bit in Italian. Then we have one complete measure of rest, and we then arrive at the maestoso, which is uh, a three-four measure, and we've actually changed keys. We're in the key of E flat. Here we go. Ready? And... Nothing on beat three, come in again on beat one. Again, I can't stress it enough, go back and sing this. This is not a very um, easy tune to pick up with the ear. So you're going to have to spend time practicing singing it. Um, sing it so much until you actually can sing your part against somebody else's. After you've done that, go back and buzz it and make sure that what you're buzzing is what you were singing before, that they match. Okay. Once you do that, then go back and, and play it. And I, I can assure you that if you do these steps and you take advantage of this uh, video that I'm making for you, that this music will become easier and most importantly you will gain confidence and you'll enjoy it a lot more. Alright, well good luck and, and enjoy practicing.